Now we have a pretty general uh, shape here, you can see, of uh, like the side of a mountain or a cliff or whatever. Now we want to add a little bit more definition to this. It's still kind of bland. All these lines you can see are straight, going across, up in the grid, and then straight up and down. What you actually want to do to make it look more realistic is to diversify that. So to do this, you kind of take a look at it from above and you see, you know, there's these lines going this way and lines going that way. Let's try to mix that up a little. Let's select from the top down view two sets of vertices from the top down and we'll move them to create sort of like a, a ridge on top here. Kind of randomize it a little. And, uh, all I'm doing is just selecting, uh, drag selecting by holding shift and clicking and dragging. This selects both the top and bottom vertices, which is important because what would happen if I were to just select the top one is uh, if I were to move it, it, it can cause other brushes to either be deleted or other vertices to get uh, manipulated that I'm not trying to manipulate, which could be very bad for the effect. So it's good to just select both the top and bottom vertices. This uh, helps us out, keeps everything uniform. And uh, at times, it's when you're manipulating this many, it can be a good idea to do you know two or three at a time, even instead of just individual. When you have a lot of vertices, it's uh, can go a lot faster that way. Of course, after a while, you get pretty fast at it. So add a little bit more down here. See, this is what happens when you select only one in vertice, it kind of distorts the rest of them. So you want to be very careful not to let that happen. But if you do, hit Control Z and that'll reset it all back to the way it was. Okay, so you can kind of see here, we've got uh, a more randomized looking terrain. You can come to uh, press my okay. You can kind of see it looks a little bit more natural now. A little bit more realistic. Um, you don't have these lines just going across all uniformly. It's uh, pretty random now. Now what you can do at this point to make it even better, even more random, is uh, select groups of vertices, like in fours or twos or pairs or whatever, and uh, go to your camera view. And here you can select one of these and it'll actually move all of them as you move it around in the camera view. And uh, you can modify specific areas. You can even select in the camera view and kind of move things around a little. And uh, this kind of grouping, you can effectively make every part of your terrain even more random or realistic, if you will. And create uh, specific ridges if you want, you know. Do that here. Maybe add a little ball there. And then maybe come down to this side too and add a little detail. Maybe lift that up a little bit. And, uh, des if you drag select over selected in uh, vertices, it'll deselect them. So now we just have those two. And then, uh, maybe we'll even. Go up here and move some of these around a bit. Move those up there. Some of these. And, uh, that should about do it. As you can see, we now have a 
expand this a little bit. As you can see now, we have some pretty well randomized terrain. Um, this could work as both scenery or in-game, um, rather, uh, world terrain that you can walk upon. It's a little choppy, but you know you can always smooth it out and use uh, more complex, uh, smaller brushes. Or you could make this gigantic and use it as uh, scenery. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it. That's the simplest way. Um, you can use a program like GenSurf to do about the same thing, but you don't really have as much control. And uh, that's about it. The next step is just being able to uh, put terrain up to straight brushes and things like that, but that's pretty easy. And uh, you can pretty much just go from there. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you guys. See you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.